Jesus. Hi beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, I failed to get a suitable title for this video, but you know what? Let's call it just a short discussion about faith and trust. Okay? So let's just get started with the video. Oh, I know that Jesus is here. Well, two weeks ago, I was having some tests that I was going to do. So when the time came, I went to do the test. And when I entered into the test room, I found some other students that were waiting for the test. Um, but they were so anxious and nervous about the test you know sometimes you can be bold and feel like wow I think I've prepared myself enough for this test and I know that I'm going to pass because first of all um, I trust God to help me pass it and secondly I have read enough to pass this test but when you enter into the room and find your friends nervous and scared about the test you can also somehow be affected i came so bold and prepared by just seeing the way they were reacting i also started getting scared a little bit about the, the test and i started asking myself okay what if i also fail what if i don't pass it what if they complicate things and i don't get anything from the test and that means i have to read again and come and redo the test which i don't want to do it took me so long to get prepared for the test so just their attitude the mood in the whole room changed my whole thinking then after, a spirit spoke inside my heart and I was asking myself, Anita, what are you doing now? Before you enter this room, you were just trusting God and you were so bold. But now here you are doubting again whether you're going to pass or fail. Where is your faith? So I said, mm, does it really mean that I'm not trusting God because I'm being nervous about the test? Then I got stuck a little bit in the middle because I didn't know what to believe. I didn't know if I should just be perfect and be bold and say I'm going to pass or maybe and so I was confused so I started discussing with myself about faith and trust so a spirit spoke again inside me and gave me an example of Abraham when God commanded Abraham to offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice when God came to Abraham he commanded him to offer his son as a sacrifice and that doesn't mean that Abraham on hearing God God's command he just jumped and said yes because I have faith and I trust in God tomorrow I'm going to just wake up in the morning and go and offer my son as a an offertory to God yes 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 thank you God for asking me this no it did not just happen like that so this spirit was communicating with me and telling me that no it did not just happen like that because as human beings at times we can be nervous about something because we're afraid of the outcome we don't know really if what we are doing is right or wrong but uh, our faith in God helps us to be strong and know that it's God speaking through us so when God commanded Ad Abraham to do that act Abraham I believe he took time on himself and started thinking asking God like why just my son God why not ask me for anything you want from this field or from me and I will offer it to you but the only son I've taken all this long waiting why him so when he took Isaac to offer him as a lamb by the time he rose like the hands with a knife to just sacrifice Isaac he was so shaking and afraid he was so shaking and nervous but because his spirit was so strong in the Lord so he said okay I know this I don't feel like doing this but I just need to do it to obey my God so I'm going to do it okay so after there after the Holy Spirit had finished to communicate with me about that story of Abraham so it left me there and then I got to realize that the Spirit of God wanted me to know that we don't have to be exactly perfect trust in God that yes you are going to do this, yes I'm going to pass this, yes, I'm going to get the thing that's how we trust God and that's how we get what we are hoping for but what the spirit was trying to communicate to me is that you can trust God and have faith in him, still hope in him 
have faith in him but still we remain humans so i came to a conclusion saying that if you're there and you've also at times felt like you were living double-minded and confused whether you are trusting god or doubting him um, and my advice to you would be that don't blame yourself again about that because even abraham was a bit nervous when he was proving his obedience to god so we can still be nervous but the most important thing is that is your heart really willing to do what faith is asking you to do if you feel like it's really coming from god and god is telling you to do something then follow it and do it even if you feel like you're a little bit scared and having some bit of a doubt about it uh, but if you feel like it's faith sending you to do it then do it god is not going to judge the reaction on your body and the whole body inside and out but he's going to judge your heart because he'll just see if your heart is really willing to offer that thing we do not have to be perfect but let our hearts mean what we are doing for him so i think that's all about this video and if you got something from the whole of everything that has been discussed and um, i want to know your thoughts on on faith and trust or, or if there is any question concerning this video just leave your opinion just leave your opinion and thoughts in the comment section below and i'll be so glad to discuss with you because it feels so sweet to talk about god right so thank you so much if you stayed up to the end of the video and if you're new here to this channel don't forget to hit the subscription button below turn on the notification bell just so you'll be notified every time i upload new videos i upload videos every tuesdays and fridays music and how to like videos so subscribe and i promise that you're not going to be disappointed i love you all and have an awesome and blessed day in all that you're going to do Bye. Bye.